in this video we will discuss about general syntactic characteristics of php so all php code is written in between the following delimiter here you can see less than question mark php and question mark greater than so all the php code must be written between these delimiters and the php code can be embedded in html page or it can be written separately and referenced by html document so uh, we can uh, uh, specify the php code in two ways first one is we can embed the php code in an html page okay and second one is we can write the php code separately and we can refer that code php file within the html document So here you can see this is a HTML document. Okay. So the body section it contains a heading and a PHP script. Okay. So the PHP script is uh, comes between the delimiter less than question mark PHP and question mark greater than symbol. So the PHP statement uh, is echo hello world. Okay. So echo is a function that is used to print a string. Okay, uh, it's same as that of print a function in C language. Echo simply prints a string. So he echo hello world, it will print the string hello world. So here this PHP code is embedded in an HTML document. Okay, so that is the first case. And second case is we can uh, we can write the PHP file separately. Okay. For example, here you can see a footer.php file. So, this is not HTML file, it is a PHP file. Okay. Here also, this PHP file it starts uh, with a delimiter less than question mark PHP and it ends with a question mark greater than. And the statement, uh, the PHP statement is echo uh, then a string. And the, uh, the string is and the string is displayed as a paragraph element, paragraph and the string is copyright and copy semicolon so this and copy semicolon it will display the copyright symbol so copyright then the copyright symbol 1999 hyphen date of y date of y means the year of today's date okay that means 2020 so it will display copyright the copyright symbol 1999 hyphen then 2020 w3schools.com okay it will display the string so this is a external PHP file. So we can include this PHP file in our HTML document. That is the second way. So this is our HTML document. So this HTML document contains one header section, H1 header and two paragraphs. And here uh, we are including that footer.php file in this HTML document uh, like this less than question mark PHP include footer.php okay within single quote footer.php that is the file name semicolon question mark then the delimiter ending delimiter uh, so we can include an external file using the include construct okay so if php script is stored in a different file it can be brought into a html document with the help of include construct okay now let's run this program so you can see the output so the output is first one is a heading welcome to my home page second one and third one is paragraph some text some more text and third one uh, it will display the content of this footer.php that is footer.php displays the string copyright 1999 to 2020 w3schools.com okay so So, so we can embed the PHP code in an HTML document directly in an HTML document or we can write it separately and reference in an HTML document. There are two ways. Okay. Then next one is PHP variables. So all the PHP variables it begin with a dollar sign. So dollar variable name equal to we can assign some values for example dollar a equal to 5 okay and we know that php variables are dynamically typed that means 
it's a uh, type is uh, type is assigned to a variable when we uh, we give some value to that variable or when we assign some value to or when we initialize that variable okay so if uh, if we declare dollar a it doesn't have any type if we give dollar a equal to 5 means a is of integer type okay like that so php is dynamically typed language and the php variables are dynamically typed so we can uh, so all the variable names begin with a dollar symbol then variable name can can be a letter or an unders, uh, or an underscore let, sorry variable name can start with a letter or an underscore followed by any number of letters digits or underscore for example dollar abc dollar underscore abc dollar first underscore value all these are valid variable names then PHP variable names are case sensitive. Okay, so uh, variable names are case sensitive. That means dollar ABC and ca dollar capital letter ABC both are different. Now uh, PHP reserved word. So reserved word means the words that have some special meaning or special purpose. That is called reserved words. So there are uh, many reserved words in PHP and uh, the important thing is PHP reserved words are not case sensitive. For example, small letter while and capital letter while, okay, both are same, okay. We can use either capital letters or small letter or combination of small and capital letters. So it's not case sensitive. And the reserved words of PHP include and, break, case, class, continue, default, do, virtual, else, else if, extends, false, for, for each function, global if, include, list, new, not, or require, return, static, switch, this, true, var, virtual, xor, while. Okay, so all these are the reserved words of PHP. I hope you can remember most of the reserved words. Then, next one is PHP comments. So, we can comment, we can provide single line comments using hash or uh, double slash and uh, we can specify multi line comments using uh, star slash and star slash, same as that in C language. Okay, So, multi line comments are same as that in C language. Then, PHP statements, all, almost all the PHP statements ends with a semicolon. Then uh, curly braces are used to form compound statements for control structures. It's also same as that in other languages like C, C++, Java, etc. Okay. Now let's see a sample C program. Sorry, sample PHP program. So this is a sample PHP program. So here the PHP code is embedded within the HTML document. So this HTML document contains a he heading that is my first PHP page and the PHP script displays the message hello world. Okay, now let's uh, run this PHP code. Okay, so it will display, first it will display the heading my first php page then the message ph hello world okay. so these are the general syntactic characteristics of php so in this topic we have uh, seen how to embed php in a xhtml document uh, then how to declare php variables and which all are the PHP reserved words, then uh, how to comment a line or multiple lines in PHP and a sample PHP program. Thank you.